you find Sophia the maid on a couch, dead. <laughs> this isn't any old couch. This is the couch of the famous hypnotherapist, Mr. L. Deer. You try to run for help, but Mr. L. Deer grabs you and ties you to a chair. That'll teach you to go to crazy hypnotherapist's office in the middle of the night. L. Deer has multiple personality disorder with four insane personalities. One of them killed Sophia. But which one? You're going to have to figure this out before they kill you too. The first personality to take over L. Deer is tender and loving Mum. You think I killed her? You're kidding, right? I love Sophia. We started the session and everything was going fine. But then I was replaced by Chuck. Chuck is the second personality. A cute kid, though a little lost. I told her how I liked pulling off seagull's wings. She was listening to me, but then she fell asleep. I know I can be boring, but I'm not that boring. The third personality to take over is Mark, a clown that terrorized Mr. L. Deer as a kid. Me? I could never have done it. When I came to my senses, Sophia was just sleeping and having a nightmare. Don't tell anyone, but in her dream, Sophia saw Miss Terry stabbing her. Then she woke up and immediately died of a heart attack. Miss Terry is the last personality. Mr. L. Deer's first love who broke his heart. I would never have stabbed her in the heart or anywhere else for that matter. When I got control of my body back, you were already there. So maybe you're the murderer. Hello, is there anyone else in this room? I don't think so. Which personality killed Sophia? Wow, there are a lot of people within these four walls. I mean, this guy's really weird. <laughs> and trust me, with all of the Riddle Me This episodes, I've met some real crazies. I can't believe you chose this guy as your shrink. Mark. If Sophia had a heart attack and immediately died after waking up, how could she have told Mark about her nightmare? There are still three other personalities residing in Mr. E. Chuck, Mum, and Miss Terry. And some of them might also be killers. You know only one thing. The killer will lie, and the other two personalities will tell the truth. Considering you pay 150 bucks for each session, you've earned the right to ask some questions. Dear Mr. L. Deer, uh, do Mum, Chuck, or Miss Terry plan to kill me? One, two, three, Miss Terry kills, not me. Mum is going to kill you. Don't listen to Miss Terry. She's a liar. Remember, only the killer is lying, while the other two are telling the truth. So, which personality is trying to kill you? you know, none of this answers the first question that we should have asked. What was Sophia doing with the hypnotherapist? Were all of her past murders weighing on her conscience? That would mean <gasps> that Sophia had a conscience. Wow. Miss Terry. If Miss Terry is telling the truth, then that means Mum is the killer, and therefore is lying. But in that case, Chuck would also be telling a lie. Since there's only one liar, Chuck and Mum must both be telling the truth. 
and Miss Terry is lying. Your four friends have been killed by a strange man. Of course they were. Why you decided to spend Halloween in a remote cabin is beyond me. Especially a cabin holding the Necronomicon. The Book of the Dead, which holds the secret of life and death. You want to avenge your friends. So naturally, you go to the cursing page. No, the one about curses. And you find the perfect one. To strike your enemy dead, close your eyes and say this line. Kandar Estrada throughs mine. Keep their image in your mind. Fail to follow this, and you'll be dead. You read the incantation out loud while thinking about the strange man that just killed your friends. Will it work? I never understood why, in Evil Dead, they just listened to a tape saying the spell in full. Candar Estrada Candos Throws and You're much more clever, right? Did something just move behind you? Groovy. It worked! On you. You didn't follow the rules as you read out loud. Meaning your eyes were open when you cursed yourself. You're now a ghost, just like your four friends. They're all hiding behind a door waiting to lead you to eternal damnation. Not cool. But then again, you're the one who suggested the whole Halloween cabin idea. One of them had a crush on you, so you know they'll be truthful and lead you to the right door. The three others are lying. Find the only ghost who doesn't lie to survive. Well, survive. You get the point. Salvation is behind the second or third door. You can only escape damnation behind the first or last door. It's showtime. Don't want to bite the dust, eat the worms by their tails. Rotten hell for all eternity. Choose door number three. I regret to tell you, you won't find your salvation behind the fourth door. Which door should you choose? So, did you guess it? Did you see through them? <laughs> because they're gold. <laughs> Door number four. Remember, only one ghost says the truth. If you choose door number one, two ghosts would be telling the truth. Same thing with door number two. If you had went with door number three, it's even worse. Three ghosts would have been telling the truth. If you chose door number four, only the second ghost would have been telling the truth. Matching the rules of the game. Obviously, you didn't catch any of that and chose the wrong door. So you decided to stay and haunt the cabin for all of eternity. It's cozy, 
and the smell of your decomposing corpses quickly evaporates. A year later, on the next Halloween, a group of four ghost hunting friends decide to spend their Halloween in your cabin. They're sure they can catch specters on camera and goof around all night taking all sorts of pictures. Once processed, the four friends are disappointed to see they didn't catch any ghost on camera. One of them decides to prank the other and scratches one of the many group photos where you can see all four of them taking various pictures. He tries to make it look like a specter and presents it to the other. Seeing it, they all flee. Why were they so scared? Now well, it sounds obvious, but if you know there's a cabin infested by a ghost, who are you gonna call? Well, not four teenagers taking pictures, I'll tell you that much. If all four of them were in the picture, taking pictures, who took the photo? Well, you, the ghost. It's definite proof you existed. And probably too much for our amateur Ghostbusters.